Good morning and God bless you. We're delighted to have you with us here this morning. Well, Friday mornings are uh, set aside as a time to hear fresh voices and fresh faces. And so without any further delay, we want to introduce Brother Jared Marks. We appreciate Brother Marks very, very much. And I know that you will be blessed with what he's going to bring to us today. God bless you. Hello. God bless you, Corstone. So good to be with you today. Why don't we start before our devotion with a word of prayer and get our mind uh, right today. Jesus, God, we love you. Thank you for this time together. God, we ask you that you would uh, be with us, open the eyes of our hearts so we can receive your word today in Jesus' name. Um, today's subject or for this devotion is a Holy Ghost saturation. Saturate is defined as cause something to become thoroughly soaked with liquid so that no more can be absorbed. This word saturate has uh, been in my spirit for a while now, uh, praying at my personal devotion at home. Uh, I began to pray the prayer of God, saturate my home, my marriage, and my life. Every part of my, my being, every part of my life, God, I want you to saturate it. And it, this prayer has grown into um, uh, just more than just a prayer, but a, a true uh, way of a lifestyle, I guess you could put it that way. And so as I begin to think more on this word saturate and being saturated, uh, the society that we live in is no doubt completely saturated uh, with things uh, such as entertainment and social media and uh, fashion and materialistic things. And so the world is no, uh, uh, it's not a stranger to this, this concept of being saturated, consumed by something, if you would will. Um, it's, it's society, what they're trying to do with being saturated by all these things is to fill this void in their life. And, um, I'm just thankful today, and I think really uh, getting down to the nitty gritty of this thought today is I'm just thankful that, yes, we are in this world, but we're not part of it. And so there, the, the church, uh, in the church, there's a different kind of saturation. And we, we find this at the core of our the apostolic doctrine. And we could start out with Acts 2.38 and... Uh, you know, then Peter said unto them, repent, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We find uh, this concept of saturation at the, 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 uh, the base layer or the foundation of our doctrine. Uh, God has designed uh, our relationship, this, this, this new birth experience. We find in John chapter 3 and verse 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And so the, one of the core principles of our doctrine is baptism. And obviously we know uh, being born again of water and of spirit, that baptism of being, uh, it's a burial, it's a type of the burial, of the, or the old man being buried and coming out of the new man and the new creature. And so that, that's saturation. Uh, the way we don't believe in the apostolic uh, doctrine of the sprinkling or any of that uh, things of that nature, but it's a full immersion. That's it's 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 a burial, so you you're completely under the water. And so, as it, the word saturated is defined, you are you're consumed, you're saturated in that experience of baptism. And I might add, it's only in the name of Jesus we find this, but. We also find that uh, that the pouring out of the Holy Ghost is a baptism of itself. Uh, we find that in the book of Mark, that um, uh, in Mark chapter 1 and verse 8, it says, I indeed have baptized you with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. It's the, the infilling of the Holy Ghost is a baptism. It's a saturation. Um, uh, you know, we, we if, if I back up to Acts chapter 2, and where Peter is saying to repent, uh, repentance is simply the emptying of 
yourself. We're, we're, we're the temple, uh, or we are the temple of God when we're uh, uh, born again, but we're, we're a vessel. And so whatever we put into our, our mind our, and our soul, we're going to get full of that. And we're going to be saturated with that. And so uh, you're, you're going to get out of your spiritual walk with God. You're going to get out of what you put in it. And so, and we, we understand that being born again of the Spirit, there has to be a repentance because we know unrighteousness cannot co coexist with righteousness. And so that repentance is a pouring out of the unrighteousness. So that God can fill us once again with something that is the Holy Ghost. And so uh, it, we're saturated. Uh, it, it's so amazing to watch a, a new convert coming out of the, ba uh, the water uh, of baptism or being filled with the Holy Ghost. And that new convert zeal of them being just completely saturated. The joy of the Holy Ghost all over them. And uh, we, we call it uh, uh, the new convert zeal. But we should never truly lose that zeal. What happens is we we just get accustomed and familiar with the moving of the spirit to where uh, if we're, we, we're not staying in tune with uh, God's spirit, the Holy Ghost, if we're not uh, staying saturated, then it takes a deep move of God to move us instead of a, a small, still voice of God whispering or nudging us. Uh, and in and, and, and one direction or the other. When we're saturated, we're sensitive to that point of where God can just nudge us, just move us in the direction, and we can understand, God, this, okay, this, this is the direction you want us to go, or want me, my family, or myself to go. And so I, I, we're, we're to be saturated. This, this, this Holy Ghost we find in John chapter 4 and verse 14, but whosoever drinketh of the, of the water, that... I shall give on, excuse me, that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. We, we, have, a, we, we have a well of water, a spring that is in us, that, is, it, it is, that will never thirst again. And he that believeth on me, in John chapter 7 and verse 38, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. It's, it's a concept of saturation. It's the will of God that we be uh, so saturated, so consumed by the Holy Ghost that our daily life, it, it, is, it is as we just got out of a pool of water and we're standing there and water is dripping off your clothing. That, that, that's, that's a visual of what the Spirit shall look on us. And how we should operate and how we should move. Salvation is a saturated experience. Living for God is a saturated experience. When you find God and you get full of the Holy Ghost, you are saturated with all that you need. We don't, we don't need the entertainment of the world. We don't need uh, the things that are just, uh, quite frankly, distractions. But we, we have all that we need when we're filled with the Holy Ghost and walking, staying saturated. We, we wonder and uh, think about people that maybe have walked away from God or that have drawn uh, to being lukewarm somewhere in their walk with God, somewhere in their relationship. They, ha they, they quit praying or they, uh, they're not as sincere in their prayer or consistent, I may. The discipline's not there. And so what happens is they begin to dry out in the spirit. They're, they're not saturated no longer. And so uh, it's that if I can give you a visual today, that every time you get down to pray at your place of prayer, or you open the word of God, what you're doing is you're, you're turning a valve on to where the Holy Ghost can flow and saturate you. And uh, we, we know that God, uh, Hebrews 12 and 29 tells us, for, God, for our God is a consuming fire. We, you can't be consumed by God, can't be saturated with the Holy Ghost and, and still have a, a desire for something in the world. There's, there's no in-between. It's you're either consumed, saturated, or saturated by the Holy Ghost and the things of God, or you're not. There's no in the middle, on the fence about it. It is the perfect will of God to be saturated by Him and His Spirit. If we stay saturated by the Holy Ghost, Satan can't trip us up. He can't, he can't gain a foothold in our, our thought life. He can't, he can't, he can't 
There's nothing that Satan can uh, do that uh, will trip us up or make, cause us to stumble or fall if we're staying saturated. We, we see it at face value for what it is when we're saturated with the Holy Ghost. God will restore your marriage. He, he's, he's able to fulfill all that he has for us when we're saturated by the Holy Ghost. Oh God, consume us today. Saturate us. My prayer, and I, I hope that you would make it your prayer today, is God, saturate my home. Saturate my marriage and my children. Saturate my mind, my soul, and my spirit. God wants us to be saturated. God bless you. Thank you.